Struggling to get the smart app device to work with Alexa? Find out here. So you've bought a Wi-Fi smart bulb. You've read the instructions. You've downloaded the app. And then you start to register. You add in your email address. You send a request for a verification code. You check your email. You get the verification code through your email. Once it accepts your verification code, you set a password. Once you put a password, you go done. Go through all of the steps and you think you're moving in the right direction. Feels like you're making progress, right? Add a couple of devices, setting it up, making sure you've got enough rooms, all the rooms are catered for. It then tries to find out your location. Add a device and then you get to the Amazon Alexa app and you try and enable the Smart Life device. You then search for the app to use on the Alexa, which is Status Smart. Once the app is, is found on the Alexa app, you then try to enable it. And when enabling the skill, it comes up with your mobile phone, which you didn't register with when you first set it up. And here lies the problem. But I have a fix for you. There are a number of apps, Tour Smart being one of them, and you can see it gives you the third party voice services, Alexa, Google Assistant, and Smart Things. Now, nothing wrong with Tour, although I haven't set up using Tour previously. But what I have used successfully is Smart Life. So go ahead and download the app called Smart Life. Once you've downloaded Smart Life, open up the app and sign up. Funny enough, this looks a little bit similar to the previous app that we used. So send your email, check your email inbox. Once you get the verification code, put the verification code in, set your password, press done, and go through all of the sequences when you start setting up the app. Once you've gone through the setup process, you'll see that the Alexa, Google Assistant and Smart Things third party voice integration becomes available. So you can now set up your, your home, uh, make sure you've got all the rooms. You can add additional rooms or remove some rooms if they're not required. So let's add the first device. There'll be some setup instructions that came within the box of the light bulb or plug socket, whatever smart device that you purchased. Very, very fine print in some of them, so you may need your magnifying glasses, but very, very simple to use. Plug the light bulb in to the light socket, switch the light on. It should automatically start flashing. If it doesn't start flashing, turn your lights on and off three times. If that fails and you need to reset, Turn it on and off five times and then your light bulb should start flashing. In my case, adding a few devices, I needed to redo this process a number of times before the light bulb actually started flashing. But stick with it, it will work, trust me. So this is where we get to the good bit. On the Smart Life app, go back and find the Alexa integration option. Click on that and here you can enable this to work with your Alexa. If you go back into the Alexa, you try and launch Smart Life through the Alexa app, 
well, I find it's a little bit difficult. So best to do it automatically through the app. Somehow it just seems to find that you've really got Alexa on your mobile phone and automatically works for me. This should work for you too. Once the app is integrated into Alexa, You can then start searching for the devices. Alexa will actually start talking to you mm. and you can then have that communication with her. And then your devices will then add up as you've seen on the screen. And you can also then switch through the Alexa app on and off for the light device settings. And if this has helped you, um, please do like and subscribe and I'll keep making more videos.